Hey guys, what is going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and today I got a really interesting project for you guys. Now, remember a couple of videos ago where I did that turning your Android device into a secondary monitor like a tablet or a phone? Well, today we're going to be doing the complete opposite, basically mirroring your phone to your desktop PC, whether it being Windows, Mac or Linux. So let's get started. Now I want to thank one of my viewers who actually reminded me about this, this software called Screen Copy. And it's something that I actually looked into back in February, but it wasn't as polished as it is today. And again, I want to thank him for reminding me that this software is out. And what this software does is basically mirrors your phone's device onto your desktop PC via USB cable. And it doesn't require root, it doesn't require uh, administrative privileges or anything on your desktop. So it works right off the box and it also supports all three operating systems. It's best used on Linux itself but again it works on Windows and I'm going to be testing it on Windows itself because most of you guys are probably running Windows. The only downside to it is that uh, it doesn't work with audio unless you get USB audio working but that's a Linux thing only so yeah you'll be able to mirror your screen but audio is not going to work. So I apologize for the background noise I am actually using this on my Udu Bolt and I still haven't modified the fan yet so it's going to be kicking on and off and if you hear that hopefully my music is enough to distract you from that noise but let's jump into it and see what we got now. I haven't tested this build yet. I just know some of the changes that happen. I'm really excited to see this whole install process to see how everything, how intuitive everything is gonna be. So I'm gonna head over to Chrome and just basically do a quick Google search of SRC CPY. That's what it's called, screen copy. Uh, Jenny Mobile, Genny Mobile. I, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Um, he has everything all set up. Let's see. So focus is on performance 30 to 60 frames per second quality is 1080 or above low latency and low startup time okay so for windows he has a pre-built so that's what we're going to be using uh, i am on a 64 bit so let's download that and for how do i get it to work on my android oh there's an apk to install the apk drag and drop the apk to skp window there is no visual feedback the log is okay so basically i'm guessing to install the apk after i install this application it'll do like a adp adb uh transfer for you all right so let's install it maybe it's let's see it does have adb right here and there's a jar there's no all right let's extract this real quick extract all and actually don't see the apk file so i might have to go to the releases let's scroll up and go to releases there's a jar file but that's no apk there's a zip file for windows yeah i don't i don't see i don't i don't see where the apk is okay so let me do screen copy I'm going to hook up my phone. I'm going to have to run it again. So I should have had the phone plugged in before this. All right, let's try this again. No devices emulator found. But you know what? I think I have a security thing on my phone. Let's go into my settings. And it might be OTG. That's what I'm looking for. Let's see. Or I might have to enable development mode or developing developer options. Yeah, maybe that's it. Enable Bluetooth, running services, advanced reboot, system updates, USB debugging. Okay, that's what I need to turn on. Allow USB debugging. Yep, that's exactly what I have to do. So you have to turn on USB debugging because obviously you're using ADB, so it's gonna need to transfer that over. So let's try this one more time. Yep, it started. It actually just pushed the jar file. You don't have to install anything. Wow, it just gets right into my uh, phone. Oh man, this is really sweet. It's really fast. Let's see if I was to try to play a game. I mean, there is a hair latency, like a, a slight latency, but it's actually running really, really smooth. If I was to play some, 
some sort of game like right here. The, oh, dragging works. The keyboard and mouse works. I mean, mouse works so far. I haven't tested the keyboard. But look at that. Oop. That's some weird glitch and that's part of the, the game has some weird glitch too. actually works really really well oh man I closed it by accident oops let's start that back up oh leaves off where you left I don't want that sound is actually coming from my Android phone it's actually not coming from my uh, device itself but that was very easy to install all I had to do was run the EXE um, then I have all uh, mouse wheel is actually like swiping for me that's pretty cool um let's see if i run a youtube video okay so i'm gonna play probably one of my later videos oh this one use phone as android you guys gotta check out that video but the audio is coming again from my phone it's actually playing the youtube video really really well especially i think if i switch it over to let's see full screen and look it, it actually automatically rotates the screen for you so I mean, I'm not going to be using this for YouTube, obviously, because it doesn't forward the audio, but it's actually really clear. And the default um, megabits transfer is eight, is on 8 megabits. So if you lower that, you might be able to get a faster streaming experience, uh, especially that there's a lot of stuff that you could do with this. So um, let me pause this real quick, close it out, and let's see what other features they have. These are all the hotkeys that you could actually check out. And... If I was to pull it up, uh, let's let's give full screen a try. Uh, it does require you to type it in the command, so I'm just gonna hold shift, right click on the same folder you actually pull up a uh, PowerShell. So here I'm actually gonna do uh, screen copy, and I think it's dash F for full screen. <laughs> Look at that. Full screen looks pretty good. There's a little bit of a more latency because it's actually trying to cast this to a screen. Now there is a way to actually get this to work on Wi-Fi, and that's through ADB ADB wirelessly. Um, I do want to check that out. So in case you guys don't want to use a cable or the USB, let's try it. So Control F to close out of the full screen. I'm gonna close that out. Which now I gotta tap my screen to pause that. Let's see what the command is. Okay, so. Oh, you can actually record the screen too. So if I hit record and then file the MP4, you can record it. Let's give that a try. Record test.mp4. Hit play a little. Okay. Got a few seconds of that. Let's pause this again. Close it out. Record complete. Now I got a little MPEG-4 file. Look at that. Obviously, no audio again, but now I got my own screen recorder. Uh, let's see. What else can we do with this? We could screen copy with no display, record the file, multi devices. So I could actually use this for multiple devices. That's pretty cool. Uh, full screen, always on top, show touches, wireless, right here. That's what I'm interested in. Um, Connect the device on the same Wi-Fi, which I am on the same Wi-Fi. Get your device IP address in the settings about phone status. Okay, I'm gonna grab that in a second. Let's see what my IP address is. Uh, about phone, that's where it is. Okay, and the IP address on this guy is not here. Let's go to status. The IP address is 133. Okay, cool. So. Enable ADP over TCP on your device. Oh, so I actually have to type this in. Okay, never mind. It's not on my phone settings. So in the command prompt, because I'm in the same folder as this and I do have the option of using adb.exe, you would use tcpip5555. So now it actually turned on my wireless debugging. See, hit okay. 
And then now because it's on the wireless debugging, I could now unplug my device, okay? Connect a adb.exe connect 192.168.105.133. How do I do the port? Col colon 5555. Okay, now I'm connected. Hit OK to allow. Let's try this again. Okay, now I'm already connected. And now I can run. Oh, wow. Look, it's wireless right now. Okay. And Oh, it's 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 much slower. Much much slower, but I'm able to do that. Let's go back into uh YouTube and I'll show you how much of a latency there is. So still works but you could tell that there's much more of a latency compared to my screen and that but yeah technically this could be like a spy cam if I was to uh, prop this up right over here turn on my camera and now I could spy on <laughs> on my desktop I can now spy on uh, what's going on with my camera that's pretty cool what other features are there so there's a whole bunch of like show touches, install APK, push files to device. So I could actually push files to device to their folder. Also, it does that automatically for me. Can I pull files? I could turn it into read only mode. I could turn off the screen. Okay. So if I was to start the device with turn screen off, I could still mirror the device without having to um, see the screen up. So that saves battery and doesn't run hot. And I'm still able to look at my screen for like text and stuff like that. And this I have set up as wireless. So to initiate the wireless, I see that you need to have it plugged into USB, have the ADB kind of push it so it's going to be wireless mode. And then that's it. You connect it. And now I have the screen mirrored wirelessly. Let's put this back over here for now. Custom window title. Okay, so you could change the name for if you're gonna use this for like scripting purposes, I guess, for scraping or whatever, you could change the name of the window so it's always uh, consistent instead of having to be the device name. And there's a bunch of hotkeys, um, most of which I'm not gonna repeat, but most likely what I'll be using this because it's actually got a really, really good display or mirrored display of my screen is probably more text messaging and uh, more communication applications. I mean, I won't be using it to play games or anything because there's no audio, but yeah, I mean, it, it works really, really well, especially if you have it over through USB. Now, if you have it through Wi-Fi, I would lower the bitrate. So default is eight. I would probably lower it to two or one or something like that, just so you could get the screen updates faster with the quality loss, but it's okay. The controls over Wi-Fi works just as well. You could get into full screen and it automatically landscapes for you if you are watching a full screen application. So if I'm watching Netflix or something, I could probably switch it over. But again, there's no audio pass through. So um, that's one downside. It, it works through USB, works through Wi-Fi. Um, one of my screens dimming down right now and I'm still able to see it on my desktop. But let's see if I could actually wake it back up. No, I can't wake it back up because it's down. Let me see if I can wake it on. Oh yeah, okay, so it's still connected but I have to wake it through there. So somehow you're gonna have to, I guess, figure that out, I don't know. You could also crop it or reduce the size of the screen so it doesn't have to be this big on your screen. There are options for that. So in conclusion, I really like the app. It runs really fast. It has high resolution, um, especially over through USB and it has the ability to run this over Wi-Fi. So if you need it, if you don't have a cable, well, you do need the cable to initiate it, but if you don't, if you want to just initiate that and then hide your phone somewhere and still have a mirrored, that, that works just as well. I mean, I really enjoyed using this app and I see myself using this a lot. Now, I will leave all the links in the description below to where you get this app. As you can see, all I had to do was unzip and just run it. And there was no installation involved, so it's more of a portable app and it will transfer the APK or the jar file over to your phone automatically. So you don't even have to look for that. 
If you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you guys enjoy content like this, hit in the comments below. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say, my nerd cave, hacktail it hurts.